This is a plasma arc lighter, also known as an electric arc lighter. It works by creating an electrical arc between these two electrodes that you can use to light things on fire. The lighter uses its small rechargeable battery and circuit called a boost converter that increases the battery's voltage. This high voltage electricity gets sent through the air between each electrode, creating what we call a plasma arc. This voltage between the electrodes creates a strong electrical field that tears electrons from gas molecules in the air, mostly nitrogen and oxygen, which then become ionized and conductive due to the presence of ions and free electrons. This plasma is often referred to as the fourth state of matter, composed of ionized atoms and electrons, sort of like high energy subatomic junk. This plasma has its own distinctive properties, different from that of solids, liquids, and gases. These properties consist of high electrical conductivity, as we can see from the arc, but also responsiveness to electric fields. We can observe this reactiveness to an electric field by putting the lighter near a strong neodymium magnet. Putting the lighter near the magnet causes the plasma arc to become deflected, flickered, and disrupted. This results from the magnetic field changing the way the charged particles collide and react with one another inside of the plasma further increasing ionization and even encouraging side reactions to take place. Some of these side reactions include the production of ozone, nitric oxide, and hydroxides. The creation of these side products isn't that dangerous to us here in a well-ventilated room, but they could pose some damage in a confined space as these gases are corrosive and respiratory irritants. If you want to see more chemistry experiments or chemical breakdowns, why don't you check out the channel?